What's up guys, Nutelnik here, and welcome back to the Mario Kart Monday. Today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of the custom tracks in Mario Kart Wii. And in the last episode we did the Fireball Cup with Shrek. And now we're going to be heading off to the Red Shell Cup with Victini. So yeah, I mean, I didn't really know which character to pick, because there's not really a theme going on with each, uh, cup. Well, yeah, anyway, we have Melting, Magma, Melee, we have Unnamed Valley, Pipe Underworld, and Canyon Run. So, like, I don't really know who I was gonna pick, but we have random characters, anyway, that are in this game, like Ronald McDonald, and, um, Shrek, as you saw in the last episode, like I said. We also have that boy. But yeah, if you have any suggestions of what character you want me to do next, let me know. Because there are a lot of characters, but there's so many that I don't really know who to pick for each episode. So anyway, we'll pick Teeny right here. This is actually a really cool uh, course. It's a bit hard to get used to it. Because, um, there's no real sense of direction. But it's pretty cool, and there's actually a loop to do, which is really cool. And why do they have that? I thought I could go through the lava, but apparently not. Yeah, I think the loop to loop right here. Or no. Yeah, this is the loop to loop. This is just, um, going on the side of the road. I'm kind of trying to imitate uh, anti-gravity in Mario Kart 8. And of course I fall off. It's a hard course to really know where you're going. I know when I first played this uh, stage I fell off at least like 10 times. Because it's really hard to know where you're going. Number one. Number two, people are just pumping you off. But yeah, it's a pretty fun course, and just like uh, some other tracks, it has two laps, because it's kind of long. Alright, I don't know if it's like the road, or it's like the car. But like, for some reason, my turning is not really that good. I think it might be the road. And of course I missed that. It's a really hard course to get used to, I do have to say. Like, even though I have played it before, I only played it once, so... It's hard to, um, know where you're going. There's no real sense of direction, but... That's for most of the courses. Alright, so right here we have the loop-de-loop, -loop, and apparently a lot of people messed that up. I saw like a bunch of CPUs like trapped there. Alright, so that's the first lap. And yeah, it's not that bad. But I understand why it did only two laps because that whole lap just took us two minutes, so. This time I know that that speed boost thing doesn't lead to anything. Maybe it does, but it's like much higher up and you need a mushroom. Or something like that. You can't really see because the lava's blocking it. Yeah, we're not doing that bad. We got in our fifth place. But yeah, I mean, it's really cool looking too. All the lava. Slowing down. And it's kind of like Grumble Volcano a little bit. I think that's what it's like kind of based off of. Like the textures and stuff are based off of Grumble Volcano. Alright, so we got. We had three red shells, but now. Used them all. I mean, one of them didn't even hit Yoshi. The second one hit Yoshi. 
Now the third one, I don't even think it hit whoever's in front of me. Okay, uh, who is that? I think it's Koopa Troopa. But I could be wrong. But yeah, now we're in second. And now we're in first, okay. I didn't even see, like, passing anyone. But, um, yeah, there we go. Even though we were, like, in 10th, the first lap, came back and got in first. But yeah, at first when I played that stage, I didn't know you could go through the lava and stuff. Alright, now we're going to Unnamed Valley. This one's kind of like Ghost Valley, except um, it's a bit different. I feel like the only difference is like the textures, and it was fan-made and not a um, retro track. But yeah, if you guys can hear the background music, it's Mega Man 2 music. Yeah, I mean, the stage isn't that bad, it's a bit tricky, and I don't know how you can make that jump. I guess you have to do a trick in order to get across. But, yeah, pretty easy, except for, like, the jumps. And, we have five laps, I didn't even see that, but, as you can see, the course is pretty short, if you don't fail. Alright, I, right, I know what to do, okay. So, like, don't do tricks on the, on these ones with the ramps, but the ones that, um, don't have the ramps on them, like these right here. You want to do a trick on them so that you can get across. There we go, we got seventh now. Really? Really? Third lap. Alright, now I know not to do a trick on these. Ah. Like, being in last is, wor is the worst unless you uh, have a. Uh, what's it called? Unless you have a bullet bill because. You really don't want to go fast on this track. You want to be like, um, you want to be like in control and, um, and like just not go too fast because there are some sharp turns. Ha! Huh. I tried doing a trick there, but it didn't count, I guess. There we go. So we're not doing that bad for the place. Again? Those green shells just come out of nowhere and they hit the way that I'm going. Really? I mean, I know that I'm like one of the latest characters in the game because Toad and all the light characters can get pushed around and stuff, but like, I have a tiny titan, so that should help me. Alright, I'll take six. Yeah, apparently six is bad to play the sad air horn. But actually in Mario Kart 8, it plays the good music. So yeah. Alright, we're not doing that bad. We're now in second overall. Just a point behind. I think someone in third is a point behind them. Alright, so now we're going to the Pipe Underwar uh, Underworld. Which is actually a really cool course. It's like, um, like it says, going through a bunch Three, of pipes. Two, one. It's really cool. It's kind of like how 
where all the pipes go or something. Alright, it's still playing the Mega Man theme. I guess because it's like the same type of course. But yeah, I mean, it's really cool because like, it's basically Mario going through all these pipes and wherever it takes him is all like the worlds, all the different types of worlds in Mario. Like right now we're in the lava world, and then we go through a pipe, and we're gonna go to another world. Now we're like in a poison world type of thing. Like world 5 I think. I remember there's being like, yeah, it was like a poison water stage. Mario. Or I think it was like an entire world. Where like the water was poisoned and couldn't fall in the water. Kind of like how the lava is. But yeah, and then you see piranha plants in there. And then you go back to the lava world. I mean, I guess it's kind of not like the war pipes goes. It's not like you go to a desert or like the grasslands. I mean, I guess this could be like World 6 right here from Mario Kart. Or not Mario Kart, right? Um, from Lucy Marva's way. Where it's like kind of like a um, desert type of area. But, like an abandoned desert area, if that makes any sense. Yeah, if you know uh, Mario Kart, not Mario. God, why do I keep saying Mario Kart? Wait, um, if you know New Super Mario Brothers Wii, then you know World Six and how it looks like. Yeah, I, I still have that game, to, uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, but I don't think it works. It's like really scratched up and everything. I might try for like a throwback Thursday to show it off. Yeah, I don't think it works because it's really scratched up. Alright, now we're back at first. Yeah, I don't really get why the prompt plant's there. It's not gonna hit anyone unless they go like... Wait, will it will actually hit me like this? No, it won't. It's kind of stupid, actually. Really? So even if I... That's so stupid. Oh, I guess because, like, that would have made me go in lava anyway, so. Good thing I didn't waste my time, like, see me go down into the lava. Okay. Now we're in fifth. Hopefully, this last item box I. Oh, really? Really? Of course I don't get an item box. I think it was the last one, too. Yep. Alright, I'll still take 4th place. Oh, Yoshi's really my competition. Wow. That's the black Yoshi, so... I understand. The black Yoshi is OP. Yeah, it's kind of weird, because like, I think black Yoshi's first appearance was in... Mario Kart Wii? No, not Mario Kart Wii. I mean Mario Kart 8 for DLC. And then they added him to Smash Brothers. And yeah, I think he might have been in Yoshi's Story, but I don't think so. I think it was a brown Yoshi. Three, two, one. Yeah. Anyway, we're here at Canyon Run, and this is the only uh, stage where it has custom music, like. If I didn't have this uh, custom like music track or custom pack, whatever you want to call it, if I didn't have that, this music would still be playing. And I don't know if it was like a um, rejected like music track from Mario Kart Wii, like in the files or something. But yeah, it's even a track that I really don't know. Maybe it was supposed to be, uh... Maple Treeway's music. Or something like that. 
that. Did they get another one of these guys? The second one. In this course. Ooh, nice, I passed it on, but... Fell down. But yeah, like, it's kind of weird, though, like... I don't know if they added this song, or if it was, like... In the data files of Mario Kart Wii. This is the only, like, song track that... Like, I don't know, and it's not in the game. Pretty sure. Maybe it's like for battle mode or something. But, because I don't really play battle mode. But I doubt that they would add that. And I don't think this is like a battle music type, type of song. The only like battle stage that I know is Funky Stadium. Which is like my favorite. I've been playing that. Yeah, they ruined uh, battle mode for Mario Party. Alright, how did I get 6 to 30? Right, hopefully, I can beat Black Yoshi and then get him first. And then hopefully, he'll get in like fourth. Apparently I'm faster than this one. Even though Black Yoshi has a knock fight, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I might show off the colored Yoshis, cause just like in um in Mario Kart 8 they added um the colored Yoshis to Mario Kart Wii's custom tracks and stuff. So yeah yeah, black Yoshi, red Yoshi. Regular green Yoshi, you got yellow, orange, all those colors. And I think it's determined by which part you pick. It's the only bad part. Like, if you wanted red Yoshi with the um, standard cart, you might not. It might not be that combination to get red Yoshi. It might be yellow Yoshi as the standard cart or something like that. Yeah, just like how with the tiny titan here. Makes me a teeny. Alright, hopefully... Really? No! No! Are you kidding me? I have to beat him. No! Now he's in second. And he just won. Right? Yeah. Alright, at least I got in second, but... Can't beat the power of the black Yoshi, you know? <laughs> but anyway, if you have any suggestions of what character you want me to see, want me to show off next, let me know. Cause there are a lot of characters in this game. Like here's some of the examples. We got Colored Yoshi's, Wreck It Ralph, King K. Rule, uh, That Boy, Rainbow Dash. Already showed off Mega Man. We got Super Sonic, Sans. Uh, Penelope, I think that's how you pronounce it, and Thwomp. So yeah, those are some of the characters that you can pick in this game. But yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Mario Kart Mondays right here on Town Deck. Bye.